tuning in, this is Octobotomist coming with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Collector Club exclusive Depth Charge. Now, you're seeing two different setups here. If you signed up for the club, your free figure that you got is this guy. Now we're going to take a look here in the packaging. This is what you're basically getting. You get the instruction card and everything underneath this foam insert. And then this figure just wedged in there, uh, well just like so. This is what you got if you signed up. It's sent to you in the, the just kind of fill in package. You got depth charge right there on a couple stickers. Now, if you went to BotCon 2013, you could pick it up in this shape. You could also get it loose, but this is a wonderful, wonderful card. You got depth charge, which is actually very hard to see. You got the, the Maximal logo there. You got the figure. You got his card in the inside. And then you take a look at the top here, and you get a wonderful image of depth charge himself. Now, depth charge here uses the Hunt for the Decepticons Terra Dive mold, and I think it uses it wonderfully. You see Transformers timeline. You flip around here on the back. You got the Transformer Collector Club exclusive. You got his tech data. To join, you can go to transformerclub.com, or you could call this phone number there. And it's like, it says up here at the top, Magnus magnificently sweeping through the darkness with regal silence, a hunter trails his prey. Defender, pursuer, and if need be, judge. Depth charge acts swiftly and with unquestioning resolve. Heals tightly to the desire for justice, even if he dispenses that justice himself. Now, looking at this figure, this is an absolute wonderful reuse of this mold, and I absolutely love this. So very cool. Now, my biggest complaint was, I honestly think that this is exactly what us club members should have gotten in the first place. Now, this was $10 more at the club store at BotCon, but seriously, I would pay $10 more for this figure if it came on this wonderful card. I do like having the option, on, honestly, though, of having a carded version as well as a loose one. Now, in my personal opinion, I really think that they should give you the option of choosing which one you want. A loose one for a little bit cheaper of a price, or if you're willing to pay the extra money, the carded one, because that just is a lot more collector friendly in my opinion. And that's what the Transformer Collector Club's all about, catering to the adult collectors. Packaging aside, I guess that's really neither here nor there, it's just my personal opinion. But without further ado, because I've actually never reviewed this mold, even though I do have the Teradai figure, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. So here we have Depth Charge open up and out of its packaging, and like I said, he does come with his instructions in a, in a bio card, and the bio card actually gets a little bit more in depth here. So I mean, you can see that the top section here is what I already read that's printed on the back part of the, the carded version of Depth Charge that we got at BotCon. But this section right here is all new, and it says, after tracking down and incarcerating the murderous Protoform X, Depth Charge returned to a Cybertron torn apart by war. Aging Masters forced the next generation of soldiers into battle in the name of the cause. Death hunted every street, and justice abound. Death Charge was tasked with the mission to hunt down two deserters from the maximal ranks, who had dispatched their commanding officer and consorted with the enemy in an attempt to use experimental transwarp drive technology to find the planet. Retracing their steps with his own transwarp device, the maximal soon found their escape route. It was not to another planet, but to another universe one which the trans tech call home. Very interesting. And I love how it basically explains why Depth Charge is no longer in that manta ray kind of alt mode. He returned back to Cybertron and was basically reconverted back to a, a robot or actual alt mode kind of thing. But I love the way this looks. Now, since I never reviewed the Terra Dive figure, this is pretty much going to stand as my, my review is that as well. But to me, this is a much better use for this. I love the color on here. You got the very nice bluish color. You got purple. You got yellow. I love the fact that he's got little painted bits here on the side that really look like eyes. That's very nice. And the one thing that's also very interesting is like this whole section here, it kind of splits apart and in doing so, it kind of makes it look like he's got a mouth, which is really cool. Almost an elongated alligator mouth. I mean, that's really what it kind of looks like, but I do dig it. Now, I don't remember who it was that actually mentioned this to me, but one other very cool thing is you can take this weapon, which stores underneath here, and you can actually rotate this around and it nicely replicates uh, you can spread it out like that if you want, or yeah, like that. Uh, it nicely replicates how Depth Charge in his Stingray mode before would have a very long tail, and that kind of is replicated here. Now you can actually shorten it just a little bit if that's a little too long for you, but 
I mean, I think that that's a wonderful touch. It's not something that I don't think they initially intended on having, to be totally honest. But regardless, I think it's a nice touch that really adds to a little bit of kind of fun to this particular figure. I really am digging it. Now, it does remove, and like I said, it just, you move this forward and back. You got the little spear, and then you pull it back, and make sure you pull it all the way back, and these little bits kind of flail out as a, a little trident kind of thing, and then you can, like I said, you can bend that, tuck that up under there, whatever you really want to do. So we're going to set that off to the side, but very nice jet mode. I absolutely love it. He does have landing gear that are all molded. They're not actual wheels. You tuck those in. We're going to have to do that for the transformation anyhow. Come around to the bottom. It kind of gets a little bit ugly, but at least the color is a little bit more uniform. So very nice. Absolutely love this figure. Now to transform them, we're going to separate these legs on the side just to angle these out and then spin these around this entire section is going to flop down like that and come around here to these arms or these back sections you're going to rotate this out and this is actually really stiff on this joint still which uh i don't know if that's on all of them but it's kind of annoying we're just going to rotate those out bring these arms out like so and then this entire section here we're going to lift this and then this cockpit section here slides forward like that and then it rotates around and like i said but when it when it rotates around like that and it kind of there we go it, it kind of makes it look like i mean there's some painted detail in there and i don't know if that's intended to be there because it's it's on both sides actually actually it looks a little bit sloppy of a paint job to be honest it's, it looks like it's supposed to be yellow but on the inside here the paint looks like it's worn off so that's actually kind of crappy i'm not a big fan of that it really does look like the paint was just worn off but it gives the the look that there's teeth underneath there which eh, i, I kind of dig so we're gonna straighten out these legs we're gonna rotate these around and then just get the legs done here fold these little bits out here we're gonna create his feedums so i know you guys like when i say feedums get that come on there we go and then take this section you're going to remove this from the side and then rotate it all the way around and then you have a little tab get this all the way around and oh well no all right ah there we go come on bring this around it's a little rotating that you do and then you just peg that all the way in and then get this pegged in there come on i'm not getting it pegged in very well there we go just like that on that side and do that on this side as well you're going to rotate this all the way down rotate this around this section here tabs in and then you got the little tab here and then the little whole section here that you just bring that in as well so we're going to straighten that out and then with this extended out you're going to bring this down and around and you want to make sure that this section here as you can see when it's up like this you want this section to come down and tuck underneath this little purple bit right there then just line that up rotate this section down and around bring these in just like that bring this down fold this back like so fold this head out and then bring this up and then you're going to rotate these bits up and around and then you you have a little uh, back tab that's gonna fit into that hole just bring that in tab that in bring these forward and like I said the joints on mine are really stiff so you have to really kind of make sure you grab down here where the joint is so you don't break anything then you got a little notch right inside there that this is gonna hook into do that on this side as well get that hooked in then you come around here to the hands and open this up slide this out then rotate this around tuck that in close that do that now you can leave it like this where you'll have kind of a cannon looking arm which looks really cool in itself but uh yeah and depth charge needs hands so rotate that around just like so take this little section here spin this around to the back straighten everything out make sure his head is nicely positioned and getting him standing there and here you have depth charge in his actual robot mode and again the way that this figure looks absolutely gives me a depth charge feel the color is fantastic very nicely homaging how that character looked and the way that the mold is you do have these wings here on the back which aren't as 
pronounced as the, the depth charts that we saw in Beast Wars. I mean, those were huge, gigantic wings, but at least, again, that nod is there and gives that look, even, even though it's not entirely as big and gaudy as it is, at least it's something that really kind of works by them using this mold. You know, the other really cool thing is the face here for the Teradai figure absolutely looks like what we got with Depth Charge. And zooming in so that you can see it a little bit better. This is his face. <laughs> and the only way that it would be a little bit better of a look is if it wasn't broken up. I mean, you can kind of see like almost like teeth or something coming down here. The mouth of Depth Charge was a very smooth kind of a uh, mouth shield. But at least again, the way that that looks, it definitely homages that original mouth on, on the original character. And then you have the nice painted bits here on the side. I mean, absolutely wonderful looking face. I love also the Maximal logo right there. So wickedly awesome. Awesome. And then again, the weapon here, you can just remove this, slide this out, just like so, get that all the way out here. And now, if you want to, again, you can fold this like so, and for storage, you can clip it here on his back if you really wanted to. And then you also still have the peg right here, which if you wanted to, you could put it there if you wanted. Uh, also for his uh, kind of weapons, like I showed you earlier, you can leave these hands rotated and really kind of replicate some blasters coming out of his hands. Uh, that's your personal preference, I suppose, but just an absolute wonderful use of the Teradive mold. I mean, it really does almost give me a a feel that that's what this mold really was always going to be. It just gives you that impression. And absolute kudos to the Transformer Collector Club for, in my opinion, nailing this. Now, the other really cool thing is that now that we have Depth Charge, at BotCon 2013, we, we were informed that the next club figure, that I do believe is the next freebie figure, if you sign up for the club, will be a retooled and repainted first edition Megatron, to replicate Rampage or Protoform X, which I am super excited about. I think that's gonna look terrific. And I think having Depth Charge and Protoform X just is a natural sort of thing. And I'm really super excited about that. And I will absolutely sign up for the club to get that figure as well. Now for his articulation, uh, the head is on a ball joint so you can get it looking a little bit up and down. It's a little bit more limited by this little bit right here in the back, but a uh, nice range of motion there. The shoulders kind of rotate. If you move this out of the way, it rotates all the way around up, up until the point where these wing things get in the way. They move in and out. They rotate at the upper part of the bicep. They have two joints here actually at the elbow, so uh, you can get a uh, really extreme bend here, but that's just part of the transformation. The wrists also rotate. Nothing at the waist, but there's a lot of junk around here at the waist, so you can obviously figure out that you're not going to get that kind of articulation. The hips are on ball joints, so forward, back, in and out. They rotate also, um, but it's kind of weird because again the ball joint kind of rotates as well and then you have the a rotation joint just below the ball joint so you can really get some crazy poses again as part of the transformation. The knees also bend and then the feet you can get a little bit of pivot as you could see when I had him positioned where he was like <laughs> why would I don't know why he would stand like this but he could if, if he really wanted him to um, if he's drunk if he's doing the the bat 2c or whatever but uh, it, it, this is just an absolute terrific figure I simply love it and as I said I really think that the collector club hit a home run with this particular figure so uh, beyond that that's all I can really think of to say I, I, I just think it's a absolute wonderful reuse of that terror dive mold simply stunning now to transform back you just will open up these panels we're going to rotate these hands around again I'll demonstrate how it kind of looks in terms of a uh, a blaster sort of thing so get those rotated around close that and then like I said here you have them with uh, blasters as, as his hands if if that's really what you want come around here you're going to detach this detach this rotate that out and then you're going to unhook this bit right here fold this back then you're going to kind of you now get this loosened up I'll fold this down Get put that, let's tuck the head back, head back. Rotate this around, just like so. Kind of pull this out, and then you now you gotta rotate this whole section around. I didn't do that. At least I think you're rotating it around, but there we go. Get that rotated around. Spin this around like so. Keep this out of the way, and then you're going to 
bring this up and then you have a little notch right here that tabs in here rotate that up and then you can rotate this around like so so do that as well here tab that in like so oh and then rotate that around just like so and then you're able to actually tab these two bits together and just kind of keep this straightened out rotate that you got his head tucked up there you can take this and you can put that there if you really want to right now and come around here you can bring these legs up just kind of position these out for right now take this section here this always gets a little bit stuck pull this out this always gets a little bit stuck here uh, when you're trying to rotate this around and it's a bit of a pain in the butt all right there we go finally get that wedged out there and then bring these down around and then slide that back just like so then rotate these legs here I'm gonna get these wings out of the way lift this up rotate that around bring it all the way around take these little feedums tuck that away I'm making this a lot more difficult than it really is I don't honestly know why I am do that rotate that around and then you're going to bring this and you see when you line it up you're gonna have another little section right here where this little tab is gonna fit in now so get that all lined up properly and then ah, come on where's that little tab you gotta have to look for it. you kinda have to look for it there we go and then bring these in and then you have a little tab right on the inside here that there's the hole match that up bring that in and then keep the shed straight tuck that up line that up and then at this point in time you're just fiddling everything back in place just like so kind of give everything a little squeeze and here you have depth charge back in his jet mode now as i said this was a transformer collector club exclusive which means the only way to get this would be if you signed up for the transformer collector club and despite some of the problems that it has had in the past i really think that the club is well worth joining especially if you are a transformer fan signing up you get i think it's like bi-monthly little magazines giving you a little bit of a inside in the world of transformers you get discounts on future figures that are released exclusively through the store and you do get a freebie and this was the freebie and I think it's an absolute wonderful figure and well worth the price of admission this mold in my opinion was absolutely perfect for recreating the depth charge character now if you actually went to BotCon 2013 you also could have picked this up in what I think is a much better collector friendly packaging uh, as I mentioned earlier I really do wish that they would offer that as an option when you're signing up for the club because I would absolutely prefer to have that to be totally honest I'd prefer to have both one that I can keep open and the one that I can keep on the card just as a collector kind of thing but that being said if you did not sign up for the club you're missing out because this is a terrific figure. And if you are interested in signing up for the Collector Club, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description and all the information will be there. I highly recommend checking it out and really consider signing up for it. But that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed your look at the exclusive Transformer Collector Club Deluxe Class Depth Charge. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optobotomous. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.